every actor has it because that's what makes you you. That's your star power. How much Tank Jones remains in these characters? Because that's what I'm trying to get to. Like, if I'm going to give a presentation in front of a room of CEOs and I've determined this is the character that's required for that room. Mm -hmm. um, how much Orrin Claff, in your mind, how much Tank Jones remains in this character that goes into that room? Like how much is it, how much is that character purpose built for that stage? Is it 50, 50, is it 25, 75, 75? How do you think about you as a person, the character that's required for that stage and how they mate to each other? So I'm still coming out of General Phelps's head right now as you're talking to me, yeah. right? <clears throat> um, I don't cuss much before. Uh, but the character always has to have the spine of the individual. For me, it's I'm I'm the spine of every character that I play. So stop there, stop there. I just want you to just go deeper into that because that's what I think people really will make a big difference in people's lives that I mean. Okay. So the character has to have the spine of the individual. It. My feeling is people don't believe that. They they believe that the audience wants to see something that's different from who they really are. I want everybody who is on your podcast, who is listening to this, who watches any movie, who follows any actor or actress, go back and look at their performances. There are only a handful of, not even a handful, you can count on maybe one or two fingers. I can think in my head, Daniel Day-Lewis being one. Right. And I would have said Tom, uh, Tom Hanks, but there's still that lovable Tom Hanks in every character. There's still, whenever you watch a Denzel character, Denzel is in every character. But um, don't you think Gordon Levitt, Gordon Levitt strikes me as somebody like, uh, sort of like an empty vacuum tube. <laughs> you know, you can't, it's hard for me to see down into what's going on down there. I, I, I um, challenge you on that, to go back and watch the performances and find if you don't see a quirk in every even one of uh, if his movies that he does for every actor, whether it's a hand gesture, whether it's an eye movement, whether it's something that you see that's this close up where he gives the character next to him a look and say, that's Daniel Day-Lewis, that's Gordon Levitt. That's, that's, every actor has it because that's what makes you you, that's your star power. If you're planning to become a dealmaker at this level, make sure to join the Daily Dealmaker. We get into one little piece of this daily, and so you're just stacking and stacking and stacking these tools and tactics and strategies until they come out of you as naturally as they come out of me and the people that I work with. Add the tips, tools, strategies, tactics a little bit every day, and by the end of a year, be a totally different, new, improved person and a very strong deal maker.